You feel bad whenever you see a player suffer a season-ending injury. And in particular, you feel bad for a player that's had it happen on more than one occasion. And in some cases, it ends up being the same injury to the same part of the body. And for the Rams, Sam Bradford, he once again tore the ACL in his knee and he's out for all of the 2014 season. And, you know, I feel bad for him. I've never been a big fan. I've never understood the big deal about him. But you don't like to see a guy get hurt like that because, you know, this is somebody that's worked hard his entire life to get to a point, and now he gets to that point, and he gets to that moment where he could determine whether or not he'll become a star and something keeps holding him back, and now he's blown out his knee for the second straight year. Now, with that said, though, it surprised me so much to see the narrative that has been constructed over the past week. Not so much about how this is a sad and tragic injury for Sam Bradford, because it clearly is, but that this is a devastating injury to the St. Louis Rams organization and that there is no way they could possibly overcome it, and the 2014 season is lost. To which I sit there and say, whoa, 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 let's pump the brakes here. Just slow down here a second. I counter that the Rams will be just fine without Sam Bradford. And in fact, this may very well be the best thing that could ever happen to this organization by him going out again in 2014. I've never really gotten the Sam Bradford hype. You know, coming out of Oklahoma, I didn't see it. I thought he lacked the arm strength. I thought he lacked the durability to be able to be a franchise quarterback in the National Football League. And based off of what I've seen over the past four plus years, I've seen nothing to change my mind about that. Um, here's a quarterback that in four seasons has only played 49 games. That's an average of just over 12 games a season. Again, the most important thing a quarterback can do to be a franchise quarterback is to be able to answer the bell every single game. And only twice through the past four seasons has Sam Bradford been able to do that. And, of course, he's not going to be able to do that again in 2014. People talk about this guy like he's some great savior of the St. Louis Rams, and maybe that's just because of the fact that he was taken number one overall. Maybe that's because of the fact the Rams and Les Snead and Jeff Fisher in particular have been so behind a guy that frankly was the guy for a previously failed regime that fans and media buy into this and try to justify the Rams not addressing quarterback early in the draft the past couple of years. Um, but the fact is, is Sam Bradford has been a mediocre NFL starter. I don't care how you spin it. He's 18-30-1 and one as a starter. 18-30-1. and one. At no point in time in any season has he had a winning record, whether he's played all 16 games or not. And even looking back at 2013 when people said it was so sad and tragic and it was the worst thing that could happen to the Rams organization, they seem to forget that in Sam Bradford's seven starts, he had a three and four record. They still had a losing record, and the Rams went on to go seven and nine. You know, so that means they went what four and five the rest of the way with Kellen Clemens as their starter. Here's a guy with a career completion percentage of just over 58%, a 59 to 38 touchdown to interception ratio. He's only had one season with 20 or more touchdown passes, and that was 21. He's had zero 4,000 yard passing seasons, zero playoff appearances, lots of zeros, and lots of not a lot. So, again, I can't understand why people think this is such a devastating. A blow to the St. Louis Rams organization. In fact, I counter again that this could be the best thing that potentially ever happened to them. And furthermore, I argue that they will be just fine. You know, Sean Hill is a guy that I don't know if you can count on him for an entire season. We're going to find out. But he is a guy that I think can do enough to win some football games in the National Football League. And sometimes a guy needs an opportunity. He needs a full chance to fully show what he can do or can't do. Furthermore, now that the Rams have once again been bitten by the injury bug, excuse me, the um, chronically injured, if you will, Sam Bradford, regardless of the circumstances, it's about the result. And the result is that Sam Bradford, excuse me, can't be counted on. He can't be relied upon to stay healthy. He cannot be the St. Louis Rams franchise quarterback. He never has been, and he most certainly never will be. And now, after his fifth season, a season where once again he won't play all 16 games, in fact, he won't even play one regular season game, 
Maybe this will be the ultimate kick in the ass that Les Snead, the general manager, and head coach Jeff Fisher finally need to quick him, kick him square where the good Lord split him, so to speak, and wake him up and tell him, hey, ding dong, dumb dicks. You got a chance to do something special in St. Louis, but you're never going to do it with Sam Bradford. You have to find that guy, and that guy, again, is not Sam Bradford. And if any season, if any result or any circumstance was ever going to wake up the Rams organization to this truth and this fact, it's right here in 2014. You went into the season expecting big things out of a quarterback at Sam Bradford who hasn't established much of anything other than that he's a mediocre guy that can't be counted on to start all 16 games. He's coming off of a torn ACL. You don't bother addressing the position at any point in time early in the 2014 NFL draft. And here we are again. You've got Sam Bradford out for the entire season this time. You don't have him at your disposal at all. And you have no young quarterback really waiting in the wings. It's this simple. Bradford, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he works hard. I'm sure he's a good teammate. But that shit don't matter at the end of the day. The NFL is a results-driven business, just like most businesses are. It's not just about effort. It's about production. It's about results. And the results for the St. Louis Rams when it comes to Sam Bradford, in my opinion, have been highly disappointing. And I can't understand, again, why so many people have been so much on this guy's jock over the years when he's really, frankly, shown nothing to indicate that he deserves that treatment. The St. Louis Rams will be just fine with Sean Hill in 2014. Because if you sit there and say, well, he's no Sam Bradford, he's mediocre, and they're going to struggle. Well, then what the hell was Sam Bradford? Sam Bradford, wake up was a mediocre NFL starting quarterback. He was. And I also say this too. There's a precedent in the Rams history for this type of stuff going on. A presumed starter in Trent Green in 1999 goes out with a knee injury in the preseason, lost for the entire year. Everybody says, oh, there's going to be more terrible things for the St. Louis Rams. They're going to be god-awful. They're going to compete for the number one overall pick in the next draft. And then here comes along Kurt Warner. Dick Vermeil, the head coach at the time, says, we're going to rally around Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner is our quarterback, and we'll be just fine. And by God, wouldn't you know, they went on to win the freaking Super Bowl that, that year. I'm not sitting here and saying that Sean Hill is going to lead the St. Louis Rams to the Super Bowl. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But I am saying to those that have tried to set the narrative that Sam Bradford is some devastating loss to the St. Louis Rams, stop talking out of your ass. To St. Louis Rams fans who feel in tremendous despair about this season now and feel that Sam Bradford was some great loss, well, you've had four-plus years to learn. You've had four-plus years to see. You should understand by now that Bradford wasn't a guy. And nor is Sean Hill going to be the long-term guy. But in terms of this season, you're no worse off with Sean Hill than you were Sam Bradford. The St. Louis Rams will be just fine in 2014 with Sean Hill instead of Sam Bradford as their starting quarterback. I promise you.